Hey guys. Hey guys. Welcome back to our channel. Thank you for showing up. So, I always forget to say this in the beginning of the video. I usually do it, do it at the end. But if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Oh. We do a lot of content on this channel that is beer, food, travel, and outdoors related. Today's video is going to be more so about beer. We're going to be reviewing two beers here while we actually do a quiz. It's not a compatibility quiz, but we are actually going to separately do it on our phones to see if we come up with the same answer. Today's quiz is how outdoorsy are you? I got this. I think actually it's what kind of, yeah, what kind of outdoors person are you? This is oh. by matadornetwork.com, and we're both going to do this quiz and see if we come up with the same answer. So first, let's pour the beers and kind of explain what we're drinking today, and then we will get into the quiz. <sighs> Okay, so today's beer reminds me of Kay from Happy Trails Hiking Immediately oh, it because does. she loves cinnamon rolls. So if this beer ends up being delicious, I will be buying another one to save for her when they visit us. They're visiting us next month. Um, so I'm really excited about that. This is supposed to be in April. Yeah. Okay, so my beer is 8.6% ABV, made by Southern Tier Brewing Company. This one is called the Cinnamon Roll Imperial Ale. It is not a stout or a porter or anything like that. It's a straight up ale, but it is cinnamon roll. So usually when it comes to that flavor profile, you tend to see that in a dark beer. So I'm interested with this one. Can you explain what you're doing right now? Yes, Old Nation. Um the last time I had some Old Nation was at an ugly sweater party, right? Was at the M43. Yes. And I got done with Which the Which you've had many times. I, I did, and I love M43. So I got down to the bottom of the glass, and I'm like, you know, this is really kind of spicy. It's kind of... Um, he was getting a weird spice. It was kind of a weird taste, and it's kind of gel-like. So after I'd finished three of them, Eileen read the can and said, oh, it says it's natural. It's going to be in the bottom of it. Uh, to avoid that, you should roll the can. And we're talking last year. Roll the can or leave some in the bottom. Yeah. Well, I am not one to leave some in the bottom. No. So uh, this can gives the same disclaimer. So since I'm not one to leave some in and the bottom. And they're using lipids, right? I am rolling this. Is that beer. what that is? It's because they're so, using yeah. active oils that are found in your skin that are then transferred to the hops during the hop selection of the brewing process. So what I have here is a new Orthodox IPA, India Pale Ale Series, uh, New England IPA, Cart Horse. 7% ABV, 60% IBUs. 60 IBUs, not um, 60 IBUs, sorry. Um, it's got malt, pills, uh, Vienna, Munich, wheat, dat, oil, hops, equinox, mosaic, dry hop, mosaic, citra, and amarillo. Um, and then at the bottom it says, haze is good. So, yeah, I have nothing else to say. I love M43. And you love I the New love, Orthodox series. Uh, New Orthodox series, so yep. I'm really excited about this. Um, Old Nation does a fantastic job with everything they do. Uh, I don't really have one, but I just... Okay, so these are our labels here. Mine is a New York beer. This is Lakeview or Lakewood. Yep, Lakewood. And it says, why the hell not? I don't have any other information. Go ahead and pour, <laughs> go ahead and pour your beer. I'm going to get a nose on mine really quick. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Yeah, it's like okay. Wow. So if you're if you've ever made homemade cinnamon rolls, Lucky it has nuts. this yeah or that. Um, it has this really buttery, sweet warmth to the smell, especially when they're baking in the oven, whether they're homemade or not, right? But um, this smells like the temptation of grabbing it out of the oven before it's cooked and eating it immediately. It smells like oh, so good, so warm, so roasted, so sweet decadent, buttery. It smells so good. It does not smell like an ale should smell at all. Yours I can smell immediately. <coughs> tropical. Very tropical over yeah. here. It's an extremely hazy. There's still oh some left in the glass, which I'm a little disappointed with because I know what's in it. Um, don't worry. I will finish it. <laughs> I'm not worried about that. No. So, let's see if I can get a nose. Hugely tropical. Very hazy. Very hazy. It looks it's, like orange juice. It, it does. With pulp. It's got an orange juice smell to it, uh, but not like the sweet uh, Sunny D style orange juice, but they're this, like natural. The tart, natural not, yeah, orange juice. yeah, not artificial. It's got a great smell to it. Nice head, really hazy. I'm excited. I'm pumped about mine too. So let's go ahead and get a tasting I'm from both of us. Pumped about yours. I'm pumped about this. It actually has like a raisiny smell as well. It's really, really developed. A really good nose on this Ready? one. So let's go again. Cheers. Oh, I got a bite for Kay. Oh. 
Kay, if you're watching this, spoiler alert, I'm buying this for you. You're drinking this next <clears throat> month. Oh my gosh. This tastes literally. So when you have a beer that is made to be a specific flavor that is known and loved, right? If you love cinnamon rolls, you know what they taste like and you know why you love them. And if a beer is claiming to be cinnamon roll flavored, you have a high expectation. I really enjoy cinnamon rolls. I wouldn't say I love them, but I really enjoy them. They're well, a great they're brunch. Great. They're, yeah, especially homemade. Um, this tastes exactly like a cinnamon roll. So. This is insane. Insane. So tell me about your tasting before you So taste before mine. I taste, because this is going to taste off. Do you know those little, and I, I, I feel stupid saying this, but they're little blue cans of orange juice. Yeah. They're tiny little blue cans, yeah. and you pop the top and they kind of peel off. Mm -hmm. Tastes like... Like the frozen ones, <laughs> made from concentrate. But it's it's like you buy them in a, in a little can. And it's yeah, it's blue with white at the end. Yeah, yeah okay. Like, yeah. I, I don't know the name of it, and uh -huh. I'm sorry for that, but that's what that reminds me of. Um, is it hoppy? Bluebell, very hoppy, very citrusy, huge punch in the face. It's okay. amazing. All right. All right, let's go in. Now we both know what we think about these. Ooh. Tart. Yeah. Hoppy, but juicy. Juicy first, then hoppy and bitter. If you're an IPA lover, this is one you'd add to your list. I don't love this because it's not a good compliment to what I just had in my mouth. Yeah. I'd rather have this, but this is delicious. It's well a great done, beer. as always. It's, it's a always great good beer. Nice thoughts. job, Old Nation. So yours uh, reminds me of a candle, and, it, and I think it's because what? of this. It, it okay, tastes like a candle to me because of this. Um, the way a cinnamon candle smells, it tastes like that. But at the end, it, it finished. Oh, no, this is incredible. It finished off like a cinnamon roll. Um, I would almost like want to make it's it's it makes me want cinnamon rolls for dinner. I ca like, yeah, I kind of want to make like <laughs> skillet like cast iron pan cinnamon rolls, but kind of like make almost a glaze with a mix of melted butter and this beer and make them like boozy cinnamon rolls it's a good with beer. this. It's a really good beer. Really good. And you can I can't believe it's 8.6%. It's it's more so, ABV than your beer. But it doesn't taste like it because it's so sweet. I don't know. Even at Jolly Pumpkin, I don't think I've, I've had They don't have any of the New Orthodox at Jolly Pumpkin. Okay, let's get into the quiz. quiz. Let's go. We are. Pull it up on your phone. So what kind of outdoorsy person are we? Okay, so it says, are you a dirtbag, a hunter, a nature lover, or just a day tripper? Let me know when you're about to hit the let's I'm play. I'm ready for let's play. And I will share a link down below, and if I can, I will post some screenshots or put the... Right, right across the screen here, you may be seeing the questions that we are seeing, but it's more to see if we're the same. Don't read anything out loud. All right. I'm, I'm reading them out loud. Stop it. I know. I don't see a picture. I don't either, but I think they're talking about the one up top. Oh, you think? Yeah. Oh, I answered one wrong. It sucks when you have, like, you want to answer multiple options. I can't see a picture again, so I don't know. Yeah, I'm having issues with mine loading here. Yeah, mine's not loading either. No, it's just... So we're having the same issue, so I'm just going to be picking at random, I guess, for a couple of these. Because there's one right now that I have that it wants me to answer which... Oh, it's making me restart. Ugh. Hold on, I have to restart. Okay, I got my answer. I did too. I'm not happy with my answer. Okay. So, all right. So, Dana, go ahead and read yours, and I'll read mine, and we'll see if we're the same. Mine says Gaper. I don't know what that means, but the pictures are not loading well, and there were a couple of pictures that didn't load right. Yeah, I had so a couple. I had to guess, yeah. and I'm afraid that screwed up my answer. So it says, "Sweet Reynolds, bro, a tourist through and through. You'll go camping or skiing only if it's trending with your friends." If you must go outside, you won't leave without the latest outdoor fashions posted on Pinterest. But at least you're outside and not sitting on the couch. Let's get one more group selfie. Uh, That's weird because <laughs> here's the thing, though. We both had the same issues. I didn't get any pictures at all for any yeah. of these, and I don't have the same answer. Okay, so listen. I have weekend camper. It says, the brave weekender, testing out the waters, are you? Good for you. You bought a tent, you know how to make a fire, or at least you hope so, and you're ready for the wild, or at least a public campground. You might fall victim to raccoons eating the food you left out overnight, but that's okay. You'll learn from it, and go to tell your boring co-workers all about it. Your guitar is your best friend, and s'mores are an art. Keep living the dream, and maybe try out rock climbing next. 
I don't think either of these is indignant of the type of outdoors people that we are. Um, parts of this I like, most of it I'm not into. So, I, I wish that it would show me the answers that I had. So that I could So let's, let's talk about it. Let's, let's go through <coughs> it again. Right, um, and I it. want us to answer to, and read them out loud this time and see... What kind of outdoorsy person are you, right? Okay, so Excuse you... Me, I got a frog in my throat. Sorry, guys. You read it to me, though. Okay. So, the first one is, what's your favorite food? Whatever is light and fits my pack. Spicy kale dumpling soup. Juicy medium rare steak or s'mores. Okay, honestly, tell me, what did you say? I said juicy medium rare steak. I said whatever fits in my pack. All right, well, I didn't say that. The reason I said that is because in the context of camping, um, if we're actually trying to backpack, if it doesn't fit in my backpack, I'm not bringing it. So, yes, a steak sounds great, but I don't like to cook outdoors. Something so ambitious, I would go for a cliff Bar or some freeze-dried food. Where is your ideal place to live? What did you say? I said off the grid. I said country. Because realistically, off the grid is really great temporarily, but I kind of need technology to, to survive in the sense that I'm a photographer and I have a website and I have social media that I have to manage for our blog and for our website. So without technology, I can't provide for myself financially. So country makes more sense for me. Okay. If you saw a bear in the woods, how would you react? You both, we both know it. what I said. I always carry my gun. Run, I only need to be faster than the slowest person. Back away slowly and get my bear spray out. Time to head back to camp. Or take a picture. How often do you get to see a bear? I chose take a picture. I said take a picture as well. Oh, you did? I yes. thought you were going to say back away slowly because that's the practical thing. No, I would have. I wanted to Okay, take a picture. that's what I said too. Okay. That's the first one we've answered the same. What's your favorite song? I said Shotgun Rider by Tim McGraw. That's exactly what I said. Okay, because that was actually so one of our first dance songs for our wedding. Shake It Off, Shotgun Rider by Tim McGraw, uh, Girl from the North Country by Bob Dylan, Heaven by O.A.R., Rocky Mountain High by John Denver, or I love that song. Fred Bear by Ted Nugent. Good song as well. While I also love Fred Bear by Ted Nugent, and John Denver. I love Fred Bear by Ted Nugent. And I do like John Denver. Yes, I chose Shotgun Rider. Shotgun Rider. Because we like country a lot. <clears throat> and I'm not really going to admit it to too many people, but I do enjoy Shake It Off by Taylor Swift. I'm not into it. You're but right. if it's on, I'll sing it and I'll dance in the car. It reminds me of Sing. That movie. Okay, yeah, the like a, yeah, things. okay, I get that. Alright, so, that's what I said. Okay, so the next one. What do you think when you see this picture? We don't see a the picture. The picture didn't load. So what did you pick as your answer um, without seeing a picture Well, I, I saw this. I didn't look at that. Uh, I just tried I wrote, to, I read all the answers and guessed what I thought would make I said, sense. glad I've got my helmet can. That's what I said too. So, that's what I'm going to pick again. The north face is the coldest, iciest, and most formidable route to climb, Half Dome, or my favorite outdoors brand. And I said Half Dome. I did too. Only because prior to going to Yosemite um, and seeing Half Dome in person and associating Half Dome with Yosemite, we, we, I, whatever, worked at Gander Mountain. And at Gander Mountain, they have obviously the brand North Face, which is the first time I was introduced to the brand, the North Face. I worked at Gander Mountain when I was 18 years old, and I worked there for a long time. But um, I hadn't bought outdoorsy brands like that before. I just wore whatever I wanted to outside, I guess. But um, I associated the Half Dome picture on the brand tags with the North Face. And until we went to Yosemite, I had no idea. Oh, I knew. I, I had no idea about any of it. In fact, until you showed me, until you showed me what the national parks were all about, I had no free. See, I, I grew up with the idea of the national parks being cherished. My grandparents went to all of them. They traveled to all of them in an RV with all of my mom, my mom's siblings. So I grew up hearing stories from my grandparents about the national park. So it's always been something I was informed about. Yeah. So So anyway. answer the way we answered. Okay, so what's the next one? If you were in the wild and needed food, what would you eat? So what, uh, how did you answer it? Once the food, the answers were, once the food I had runs with me runs out, I'm screwed. Two was set a snare in a highly trafficked spot. Three was I'd harvest and immediately smoke any large game. Or four is I'll teach you where to look for morels. I wanted to answer with both of them, with the morels and the I large wanted game. to answer with morels, but I didn't because I really couldn't. 
Well, I could, but I know that that wouldn't be sustainable during all seasons, and we're not sure which season this is talking about. So I actually did say I'd harvest and immediately smoke any large game. That's I don't nice. know that I would be able to take large game down if I don't have weapons with me, but I would be able to figure out how to fashion weaponry to get birds, rodents, small game, and fish. Yes. So that's that's what I answered. I'd be into the fish. Yeah, more so. True or false? You lose 90% of your body heat through your head. What'd you say? I said true. I said true. So I don't know if that's right or not. Well, I feel like you lose yes. them through I your hands, your feet, person, and your head. I feel as a bald person, I lose a lot of heat up there. So if I'm really cold at work, sometimes I'll wear a hat, or if I'm going in and out all the time, I'll wear a hat. And I do a lot in the out, outdoors. It's like typically hands, winter. hands and so, feet are the so two areas we lose feet, heat head, I, I would the say most, but the most head for sure. I don't know if it's ninety percent, but it sounds more accurate than not. Okay. So, what's your favorite activity in nature? Okay, um, read these. Take a nature hike. Take a trip to my favorite resort in Colorado and ski. Try to on-site a new route. Snowmobile. Camp with friends around a fire or bait and cast with a good beer. Here's the problem. Most outdoors people will say yes to a couple of these and it's all seasonally based. I wanted to answer uh, bait and cast with a good beer. I wanted to answer camp with friends around a fire. And I wanted to answer nature hike and also the trip to Colorado because I love traveling, going to new places. I like skiing. But I answered ultimately a nature hike because my favorite thing when it comes down to it, if I had to pick one thing, would be hiking. You my, answered bait and tackle. I answered with the bait and a yeah. good beer uh, because my favorite activity in the it's outdoors fishing. is fishing. Yeah. I love hiking. That I, I but here's the hike thing. for hours. Here's the thing I with that. I love to hike. It makes sense that he answered this because when we first got together, he got me more into fishing and I got him more into hiking. We both love being outside and like doing anything that's outdoorsy, but he made me love fishing and I made him love hiking. So it makes sense that and we And the chose. other part about fishing is it's much more convenient, easier, and faster to go hiking if you only have a little bit of time than it is to go fish. For Depending me, on... For me, because yeah. you got to load up the boat, you got to do all this other stuff. So for me... We have a, bat, a tackle backpack. I know, but for me, I can go hiking pretty much anywhere. You throw a rock, you can hit a park up here. Um, so Or a forest or section. Or a forest section a somewhere. Pathway. So yeah. hiking makes more sense up here because you can do it quicker. We have the river and frame. like 10,000 lakes throughout the state of Michigan, um, so I don't know but about I, that. For me, fishing, I don't know, you gotta go get bait, you gotta get, it's, it's just, it's more. But one, but that one included beer, so you're the smarter person here, but I did choose hiking. <laughs> so, okay, uh, so you can answer how you did. Alright, so. Um, See, another one, here's this one that says, who is this, and there's no picture. So I read the answers and I figured out which one made more sense, because it seemed like it was about sports. I just chose, I don't watch soccer, so I don't know, because if it is a soccer player, I wouldn't know. And I chose the winner of the 2014 Old Milwaukee Bass National Championship. I see, that makes more sense, because it's probably outdoors and related, went, well, so yeah. Somebody's got bass, I don't really know what that is, but... Yeah, but it probably would be that one. But then I look at it, and the bass is, and it's like... It's like initials. Yeah, it means an acronym. So it means something. It's an acronym. So maybe so it's it means something. It is efficient. So okay, I'm going to so, write okay, so that's what I think. So the favorite car one, it has a bunch of like little uh, uh, thing, and it didn't load. Yeah, um, little boxes so you can choose, and there's no pictures, so I just chose one at random. I'm just going to pick one. Okay. Using one of the following, how would your friends describe you? Loving, carefree, outgoing, steely, daring, or passionate? My friends, depending on what friend you ask, would answer all different because I'm many different things and I love being many different things and most people are many different things. But at the root of it, I'd say that the things that describe me would be an undertone of the fact that I'm passionate about them, so I chose passionate. I would say that if I had to say something about you, I would say passionate out of those for you. What would you pick for me? For you, I would put... Loving, carefree, outgoing, steely, daring, or compassionate. I would also pick passionate, but... I, if I didn't pick passionate, the one that I would pick, you're not daring, really. Um, you can be, but not really typically, that's not your personality. You're very loving. You're carefree sometimes, but usually you're very articulate. You're not super outgoing. Um, you're good at managing and being around people, but I wouldn't say you're an outgoing person. If you could choose not talking to someone, you'd rather not talk to someone. That's absolutely um, correct. And then steely, I don't really like the word, uh, so I would say passionate. 
What did you pick for yourself? I put carefree. Uh, You're not carefree, though. No, but... I like, made you carefree. The, the thing about me is I'm the calm in the storm most of the time. Like, Usually. I don't get... Upset, well, it depends. Too often. No, it depends. When there's a problem, I dwell on the problem. I work to a resolution of the problem, but I don't get high strung about it. But I would say you are a passionate person, though. The things that you're into, especially when it comes to outdoors, you're passionate about for yeah. very sentimental, deep rooted it like things. You love fishing, and a lot of it, a lot of your love stems from your, your father and the time you had with your father and the fact that you no longer so, have him. What's really funny is this one came back and said hunter and fisher. You answered a couple differently though. So, which is, I don't know. So now if we did it together, we got a different answer. So the we got different separately. together is hunter fisher, and it says you're probably wearing camo right now, aren't I you? I thought about it, but I'm not. Nothing weird about that, deer. as long as you're making your way into the woods soon. I feel like Ron's It's still not weird if you this. don't though. Not really. Um, you find nothing wrong with waking up before the sun to sit in a blind and wait for a critter to walk by. That's true. You also love being surrounded by nature. Yeah. So long as you're downwind, you've got a rugged personality, but you'll be as giddy as a schoolboy when you bag the big one. No, it's true. That's pretty accurate. So it's kind of funny. It's more accurate when we answered it together than it was. It's, yeah, it's kind of funny. So if you do this quiz, let us know what was your answer. Was it accurate? Were you cool with the answer? If you're a couple, did you do it individually? Did you get the same answer? I'd like to think we're the same kind of outdoorsmen because we do all of our outdoor activities together. We but do. it's kind of funny. We got different answers individually, and we got a different answer together. So that was kind of interesting. Hope that you found it interesting as well. This beer, I give a four and a half out of five. I, um, I'm i obsessed with it. I love it. Um, that's all I really have to say. I'm giving mine about a four and a quarter. Okay. Um, Solid beers today, though. Very good beer. Yeah. Very good beer. Thanks for watching. Thanks I know for watching. This a little long, a little chatty. Well, I'm editing it to make it less long for sure. Of course you are. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thank you for joining us. Um, again, make sure that you hit that red subscribe button. We post twice a week, Wednesday and Saturday. Um, our content is typically outdoor centric, but it does have obviously a lot of beer and food and other things rolled in there. This channel is kind of our lifestyle, so it's whatever we do, we share. Um, so thank you for being it's here. Whatever we get up to <laughs> in that moment, at that time. We try to stay on brand, brand though. We're typically drinking while we do whatever it is we're doing with you. Um, but yeah, so drink good beer and stay warm. Cheers. Cheers. I'm so excited to get this from Kay. She's going to freaking love this. Oh, She's going to love it. She really is. It's, man, it's on point. The, the nose on that is on point. I know. The real question is, what kind of outdoorsman are you? Or what type of outdoorsy person are you, I should say? Leave us a comment down below if you took that quiz. We hope that you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you hit subscribe right here and watch more of our content right here. Cheers!